In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you go about writing the equation of the tangent line at a given point. I might also point out that I am assuming that you have been working with derivatives long enough to have been introduced to the chain rule because this particular function that I'm going to work this example out uh, with deals with the chain rule when I take the derivative. So my directions are going to say write the equation of the tangent line at the given point. They give me a function, f of x equals 4x minus 1, quantity cubed, and then through the given point, 0, negative 1. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is find the derivative of this function, because once I find the derivative of this function, that gives me the slope at any point along the curve, and then I can plug my given point in and find the specific slope at that point. So the derivative of this function. All right, my outside function is x to the third. My inside function is the 4x minus 1. So since my outside function is x to the third, I'm going to use power rule. I'm going to pull that 3 down in front. So 3 times the quantity 4x minus 1 and subtract 1 there and then multiply it times the derivative of the inside function and the derivative in of the inside function, the inside function being the 4x minus 1. So let's show that with a ddx of 4x minus 1. All right, now second line, I'm not, I don't have to do anything to that first part. 3 times the quantity 4x minus 1 squared. Now derivative of the inside function right here, derivative of 4x minus 1 is just going to be a 4. Cleaning that derivative up a little bit, I'm going to have a 12 and then 4x minus 1 squared. All right, now this derivative right here gives me the slope at any given point along that curve, okay? I want it specifically at my given point. My given point is 0, negative 1. So that's x and that's y. All right, so what I'm going to do is I need the derivative at x equals 0, so I'm going to plug it into my derivative to find the actual slope at that point. So f prime of 0 is 12 times 4, I'm going to replace x with 0, minus 1 squared. All right, 0 minus 1 gives me a negative 1 in here. Negative 1 squared gives me a 1. 1 times 12 is going to give me the 12. So the derivative at 0 is 12, which tells me the slope at that point is 12. So now I have my slope and I have a point and as soon as I have the slope and a point then I can write the equation of that line. I'm going to choose to do point slope form of my line. So y minus y sub 1 equals m x minus x sub 1 and then after I do that I'm just going to leave it in that form. So my y coordinate is negative 1 so y plus 1 equals slope is 12 x minus 0. All right, and because it is x minus 0 there, um, that looks a little tacky there, so I'll probably switch this out a little bit. Let's go y plus 1 equals 12x, and then let's go ahead and subtract uh, 1 from both sides. y equals 12x minus 1. All right, um, so there is my equation in slope-intercept form of the tangent line at the given point. All right, had this been any other point other than something with a zero negative one, I probably just would have went ahead and left it there in point slope form, um, but I don't really like leaving that zero there, so that's why I switched it. Uh, but basically, finding the equation of a tangent line at a given point, you find the derivative. That derivative right there gives you the slope at any point along the curve, and since I want it at a specific point, I take that point and I plug it into my equation. So at x equals 0, what is the slope? I can calculate the actual numerical value of the slope at that point and then using the slope and the point I can write the equation of the tangent line. Definitely thanks for watching. Be sure and give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.